In this lesson, Dig It, you're going to learn how to analyze music to make it really easy to learn and easy to remember. You'll also learn two really good techniques that will make you sound amazing. Let's start by hearing the song. One, two, set, go. Okay, let's go ahead and break that song down. First of all, your right hand, you just place in D position. The D you'll find between the black two keys right in the center, and then play the next note for E, F, G, A. Those are the only notes you need for this song, and we'll walk up the hill and right back down to the D. We'll do that three times. part you'll play the right right left and you'll only need one note in your left hand and it's always on the C sharp the second time we'll do the walking up and back three times and this time we'll do the left left right so the first time was right right left second time was left left right really easy then we have the middle section which was the D to the F, D, F, D, F, and E. Repeat. D, F, D, F, D, F, and E. And then you repeat the first section the first time. Let's take a look at the sheet music really quickly. When you look at the sheet music, you'll see patterns and you'll start to analyze shapes. This first pattern right here, walking up and back, is repeated. So we've already learned this, we've already learned that. Then you have some new material right here with the right, right, left. When you go to the next line, notice this is all repeated stuff. So you already know it. This is new material with the left, left, right. So it's backwards, left, left, right. The next section, the B section, you will have to learn this new material, which is down, up, down, up, down, up, and both hands. But after that, this is just a repeat exactly of that thing. And then this whole section is a repeat of this first section right here. So really, the yellow is all the new material that you have to learn. If you start to see patterns in music, it will make it really easy to learn and remember the music. Let's go ahead and look at that in the software. When you come over to the Learn button, click on the chopped, and then go to the A section, and you'll see you just have to learn this first section. Let's go ahead and do that in prepare mode. Walking up and back again, and walking up and back again, and walking up and back again, and right, right, you have it. When you go to the next section, you'll notice that 5 to 8 is the same thing as the previous one with the change at the end, which is left, left, right. Get that 100% and then move on to the putting both of those together and then do the B section. I'll start this B section to give you an idea. Notice this note right here, that C sharp. This has a stem going down that is usually indicating that this is to be played with the left hand. The stem going up is the right hand. So we'll start with the right hand playing the thumb on the D and the middle finger or the third finger on the F. Let's go ahead and start that in practice mode. Thumb on D, middle finger on F. And notice it has a slur with a staccato. That's what that little dot is. So it's a down, up, and staccato. 
down, up, and then we do a quick one. These are eighth notes, so they're faster. A little rest, and play both of these together. Repeat the same thing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and together. Now you don't need to pay attention so much to the rhythmic stuff yet, the staccatos and the slurs. We will be learning all of that later. For now, just make it sound right. Have fun with it. Get a good tone. Okay, after you have practiced this song, you've learned it all, and you've performed it many times, I want you then to start looking at the technique of what we're trying to accomplish here. first glance, this looks like a very easy technique, but you're learning coordination, first of all, between each of your fingers. Secondly, you're not playing with your fingers, but you need to learn how to connect each note into your body. And so the way I like to teach this is you drop your thumb on that first note, and you go all the way down. So when I drop this, I drop all the way into this key. I even point my finger up and I'm just catching it with the ball of my thumb. That allows me to get a good strike on that key and I have the whole weight of my arm and my torso resting into that note. Now the trick is to rotate the weight into this next finger. That should be very heavy supporting the whole weight of your arm. So we transfer the weight and you can kind of roll into it. The next finger will support the whole weight of your hand, the whole weight of your hand, the whole weight, and then come back down. One thing you might try to practice is to roll back and forth, and just see if you can feel the weight of your arm going back and forth. It's very heavy. Don't let your hands collapse like this. Keep it rounded. Now this will take you a number of months to get the hang of that technique and how to feel it in your body. This is not something that just comes natural, but this is a good song to keep practicing over and over to work on this technique. Okay, technique number two, the B section where we have a down, up, down, up, down, up, and then two notes there. This is a two note phrase or a two note slur, which you drop on the first one and you spring up on the second one. Very difficult to learn. The action is dropping down and your hand kind of acts as a spring as you're still dropping and as you rebound, you actually rebound inward and upward. So we rebound in that way and up this way at the same time. And at the moment of striking that key, you want to get the most part of your body to connect with that note. I try to explain this to students in a couple of ways. Let's take a pencil and describe what happens. If you hit a pencil, this rubber is soft, just like your finger, but it's very stiff, like you want to keep your finger. All right, so work on those two techniques. Let's review them really quickly. We're going to roll the weight of your whole arm and hand into each note. Everyone's very heavy, keeping your hand curved. The second one is the two note phrase, down, up, which is a down and inward motion on that bounce, connecting that very stiffly to your body. 